Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to an episode of Broken Play. This is the first one. Uh, I am your host, Nav Green. Me and uh, Era Jordan. Uh, shout out to uh, Prize Picks and Carlos Miller. Uh, really coming to together, uh, you know, to do this show. It, it's a real good feeling. Um, the budget wasn't big enough for us to have a co-host, so we got Era Jordan right here. We got a... Um, Got a lot to talk about this week. Uh, first and foremost, I've been doing reporting, you know, for games and stuff like that. So I've been real, what is a statistician? I've been keeping stats. At first, I was keeping stats for my own bets, but it's bigger than me. I'm doing this for y'all now. So it's like, we got to figure out what's going on. Uh, the playoffs just started. And there's a lot of injuries. Um I don't know why. I, I think it's because they, they are just now starting to play hard. Like, they went through the whole season. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? They Let's be honest. They were bullshitting the whole season. Now the playoffs start. Now you want to start diving on the court, trying to get loose loose balls and shit. You should have been doing that all year because now when you fall on the ground, your knee, your knee sprain, that's regular shit that they getting hurt from. They get up, and I see them walking to the locker room. And I'm getting mad, not just as a fan of basketball, I'm, I'm getting mad as a fan of betting. Because if I got you to go for 26 points and you done got hurt in the second quarter with nine points, you do me no justice. The reporter talking about, yeah, we'll be back with an update on this. Hey, if he can't come back, let me know now so I can put another bet in. Or an entry. I say in, entry. I'm on prize picks. I'm putting different entries in. My bad. I ain't mean to get so upset about that, but that that been pissing me off. Uh, we got uh Javante Javante fighting this week. Him and uh who 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 he fighting that Ryan Garcia. Man, a lot of people are trying to make this closer than what it is. Javante Tank Davis is gonna beat the hell out that man. A lot of people, and I got to arguing with somebody the other day. He was like. You got to watch boxing. You got to, I don't got to watch shit. I'm willing to bet I will shave all my health. I will go bald if Ryan Garcia beats Javante Tank Davis. You, you hearing it live. Like, I, I'm so confident in him. Did you see when he was training with that big weight ball and throwing it back at the, uh, his trainer? Man, his trainer can't even handle the shit he want to do. You can't train a man that you can't train? Man, he, bro, I saw him training. I thought it was like Creed Six or something. I'm like, he doing all this with Ryan Garcia? And that's because people been talking, saying that he could lose. He was like, oh, I got to start taking this serious. I be, I be bullshitting. I know I could whip his ass. But if you, hey, I don't know what prize picks going to offer for that. But whatever they offer for that. I'm willing to bet, I'm willing to make my entry knockout before round seven. Before round seven, man, did, I don't think they saw Tank last fight. When he knocked the knocked Buddy through the ropes and they had memes, they were comparing it to that Michael Jordan, uh, Martin Lawrence. My bad, Aaron Mike. <laughs> That's why we got Aaron Mike up here. But no, Tank is going to beat the shit out of him, man. It's, it's no question to ask. And with these NBA playoffs, I, I try to give insight. I try to give, you know, good feedback. I try to give great predictions un and be honest and fair. I got to be honest. I don't know what the hell is going on right now because it's been low-scoring games because everybody want to play defense now. So that makes, your, that makes your picks and plays hard to – to come come with. Because if I expect, I can't be picking four people to score over 25 points in the game. And these motherfuckers score 80 points total. That's the whole team. I saw that the other day. So it's getting crazy. Now the, now the Kings are up 2-0 on the Warriors. Draymond, oh my God. I don't know if... His calling was to be a wrestler or a UFC fighter. Speaking of Tank Davis, I want to see Draymond fight some damn body. Because he always get close and right. Well, no, I don't. He he will fight. I forgot. But that's his own damn team. 
I want to see him fight somebody who gonna fight back. You know who I wanted to see him fight? That boy from Detroit. Who tried to fight LeBron too? Isaiah Stewart. Pull up his stat line. He 3-0 and from trying to fight somebody, and they always get the hell on. I ain't never seen LeBron back down. LeBron got the hell on. I don't blame LeBron. Isaiah Stewart, he just, he looked like he just ready to, oh, my God. Shout out to Jalen Hurts. Man, cue up that song. Nigga, go get that bag. Uh, who that is? Uh, that? You know that? Uh, that's L.A. Russell. Yeah. Go get that bag. Man, bro, highest paid. That's the highest contract. He deserve it, bro. Everybody gave up on him. Yeah. Soon as you get that money, pull up on Nick Saban. Man, talk. Talk to me. You bitched me, then your boy. Now look at Tua. You gave up on me. I went to Oklahoma, was a Heisman runner up. I was drafted in the second round. Had to beat out Carson Wentz. Now I'm the highest paid NFL player. Man, bro, if that ain't a success story, I don't know what is. But see, the only thing with that, now Lamar got to get some money. I know Lamar, I know Lamar was watching that TV and said, damn. Because Baltimore don't give a damn. Baltimore is trying to keep that money. I don't know for who. Well, they signed Odell Beckham. But he wanted Odell Beckham and DeAndre Hopkins. But you see what they said. We're going to give you one. They treated. I feel like with them, Lamar do so much. Get Lamar some money, man. And shout out to the um, Jalen Hurts agent. Black female. Bro, that's why people don't realize. People always want to say keep women out of sports. You need women in negotiations. And his agent is fine. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm sitting out negotiating with her. I know I'm going to get what you want. This ain't even about Jalen Hurts. What do you want? You coming out looking good? Man, you coming out with a white agent, old white agent. Now I'm, I'm in my bag. I got to negotiate with you because I already feel like you getting over. Female coming out smelling good, looking good. Yeah, Jalen, he wants 300 million. Give him 500. Because now I want to make I got to show you we got the money, baby. Don't think you don't think you messing with a broke organization. You sure that's all he want, 300? I give him 550. That's how I feel. Man, speaking of um, the money and blowing the bags, Mikey Williams, uh, the high school player, arrested for assault. And I, I take the loss more seriously, but he was supposed to be our first, first guest. All right, I'm lying. But <laughs> we, <laughs> we can't have him on here now until you clear all that stuff. Because I ain't even got all the money for my show yet. So we had you on here, and that, now I don't tank with you. No. But nah, bro, all jokes aside, we need more coaches and more people in the community talking to these young kids. Because you remember, I remember it was a time where, like, in the neighborhood, people would leave the athletes alone. They wouldn't even want the athletes hanging around. You feel what I'm saying? Because when athletes hanging around, we know you could get in trouble like that. Throw me one of them. Yeah, we're going to get some air in here in a minute. But now all jokes aside, so with that being said, we got to make it where these athletes are comfortable being themselves. You feel me? And and athletes, I know with it's with Instagram, it's so much social media stuff going on where you you got to look like this and look like that. When and this is a true story. When I was coming up in high school, the high school players they took sports so serious. They had they had girlfriends, and they knew their girlfriends were going to eventually, you know, they were going to cheat on them. But if you so focused, you don't know that. But if you're on social media, you're going to see that. So I think keep the athletes off social media. And that's why LeBron's son doing so good. 
He stayed off social media till it was time. Cause like you shouldn't even have no gun. And and I'm gonna go off the record and say this. I don't know how this might sound. If you are an athlete and you are projected the number one player to coming out of high school, there's no reason you have a gun. Keep shooters around you. There's no reason you got the gun. What are you promising him? Promise that man a, a Lambo. He gonna carry all the pistols. And now if you shoot it, that's on you. We don't encourage violence. But you players stop carrying the gun. And John Morant, that little shit you was carrying. Oh, my God. You could have had a butter knife. <laughs> so it's like they seeing the NBA players. Like, how you going to tell a high school player you shouldn't do that when they seeing somebody they look up to? And I, the only thing with that, I just don't want to see nobody mess up their career and mess up their future. Because John Morant, John Morant coming back strong, though, but he got hurt, too. He got hurt in the game. Hurt his trigger finger. <laughs> he tried to take a charge. But, no, shout out to prize picks, too, because Giannis got hurt. That's why I'm talking about all these injuries. Giannis got hurt, but at least they rebooted that. Giannis got hurt early. That, that broke my heart. I had him going for them 32 and a half. Oh, my God. I had him going for them 32 and a half. But, yeah, so we got a big week of sports ahead of us. Uh, the Hawks the Hawks playing the Celtics, so we're going to check out some games, go get some uh, feedback from some of the players and stuff like that. I think round one, I don't see nobody uh, – I don't see no good no good matchups like where it's – like it should be close. I feel like the Lakers going to beat the Grizzlies. Uh, Le- I, seen, I see LeBron so focused. I see Anthony Davis. All he got to do is stay healthy. If he stay healthy, it's a landslide. Now, you know what surprised me, though? Out of all the games this weekend and week, Phoenix. That hurt. When Kevin Durant took the lead, I said, oh, man, it's over with. Russell Westbrook, and I think prize picks got to come up with a a, a function on their website, on their app. You got to count hustles. Russell Westbrook might have six points, eight rebounds, seven assists, 12 turnovers, but have 49 hustles. And you can't keep counting them hustles. So, yeah, we're going to get into some highlights when we come back. We got some low lights coming up. And for sure, I'm going to have the prize pick of the week. And we got a special guest. I'm not talking about Errol Jordan. We got a special guest. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, let's pay some. Oh, let's pay a bill. It ain't no bills. We're going to pay a bill. Yeah, with this episode, it's a bill. This your boy, Nav Green. If you don't know by now, you got to get hip to Prize Picks. Prize Picks is one of the easiest ways to get you some money and have fun while you're watching the game. All first-time users that deposit and use promo code will receive 100% instant deposit match up to $100. If you deposit $100, Prize Picks gonna give you $100. If you deposit $50, Prize Picks will give you $50. So that's how we're doing. Available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Go ahead over to Prize Picks right now by tapping the link below and tell them Broken Place sent you. Download Prize Picks today and play daily fantasy sports with us. Make sure to use promo code Broken Play when you sign up. Tell somebody to tell somebody. These are the picks that I know for sure are locks. Hawks versus Celtics. I'm taking Trey Young with assists. I don't care if they had 29. I'm taking him for assists. Celtics, I like uh, I like Jalen Brown for whatever points. He going against Atlanta Hawks? Yeah. This is a home team. All his family watching the Hawks. Jalen Brown with the points. Uh, Lakers and Grizzlies. Uh, I like LeBron with the rebound. I like LeBron with the rebounds. I like Jaron Jackson with whatever on the blocks. Block steals, it, it come together. So if he get two steals in a block, you hit. Heat versus Bucks, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler got something to prove. Give me Jimmy B. Points, rebounds, and assists. And he going to the free throw line. If his free throw line, anything under eight and a half, lock. Because he going to the free throw line. He going to battle for them boards, and he going to the free throw line. Uh, 
If Giannis get back, then Giannis automatic. I don't care if they got him at 90. I'm taking Giannis. Coming off a back injury, y'all trying to hurt me? And I'm putting up 103. Clippers versus Suns. KD, show me something. I got to go with KD. KD got to show me something. And Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, rebounds and assists. Points, I don't know. If Russell get in the moment, he might do something. But Suns, I like KD. I try to stay away from CB3. Some games he a facilitator, some games he a scorer. But he never is a sure lock for me. I don't know if he know when I'm locking him in or what. Knicks versus Cavs, uh, I like Randall. And I like Brunson. Randall and Brunson with points. With the Cavs, uh, Donovan, Donovan Mitchell with the three-pointers. If they got anything under three and a half, lock it in. Shout out to Prize Picks. Speaking of Russell, let's get into some highlights. Did you see Russell Westbrook defensively and offensively? Because he, he, get, he get a lot of offensive rebounds and stuff like that. Why I'm so happy for Russell Westbrook, a lot of teams counting him out. They changed his name. Start calling the man West Brick. And then you did you see he was finna beat one of the fans' ass in the uh in the little players lounge. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Take it like a man. Watch your mouth. 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 And I like a player like that. If I see you talking that shit on Twitter, I'm going to come find you in your seat. Because he had to know exactly where he was sitting at. Man, I knew when I knew when Russell was walked in, had his, like, Hawaii outfit on, I said, oh, he finna go to, he finna cut the hell up. You playing against Kevin Durant? It's like he get thrilled off that anyway. Because you left me for dead. Because that's when it started. So that's a big highlight right there. Show the block that he got on Devin Booker. And he knew it too. I like Russell Westbrook, he played like one of them, you know, one of them players in the neighborhood that you be like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like. Because you know you're going to get hurt when you play with certain people. You know how you be scared to go for it? I'm going to let him get that. That's how you got to play with Russell Westbrook. Man, I'm talking about, what is six 6'4", Marcel? Six three six four, be getting nine ten rebounds, and his rebounds ain't when they don't bounce to the three point line. He getting his in the paint. I'm right up here with you. Another highlight: uh, Malik Monk and uh, De'Aaron Fox. This they first playoff game. Well, first playoff series uh, period. This they first time in the playoffs. First time being in the playoffs. Them boy go for thirty a piece. 30 apiece. Talk to me. And who we going against? Because, look, all season, what they've been saying, uh, you always see Clay throw up all them rings. Bro, them young boys don't care nothing about that. They listen to NBA young boy. They listen to anti. They don't care about, they don't care about what you did 10 years ago. These boys are listening to 21 Savage, young nudie. They don't care about no respect. They finna run through you. You down you down two games. So them highlights, show, show Malik Monk and De'Aaron Fox. I like De'Aaron Fox game anyway. The, the boy play uh, Denver against Minnesota. You know how certain teams you be like, man, I like Anthony Edwards. I love Anthony Edwards. At, and not just because he from Atlanta. I like Anthony Edwards, period, because he like he confident in himself. But he will not win until they get rid of Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is one of the worst players I ever seen. And the only reason I'm saying that, not because of his skill, is because, bro, you the biggest one out there. Carl Anthony Towns, you want to stay in the same spot as Anthony Edwards. Bro, I have never played professional ball past eighth grade. I could, I could admit to that. But in eighth grade, I knew we had to space the damn floor. Why are you standing right next to him? 
Get the hell out the way. Oh, I was supposed to be talking about the highlights. Highlight Denver. <laughs> I, I like Denver. I like Denver role players, to be honest with you. People don't realize it. You can have all, and I, I, I'm going to steal this from somebody because somebody told me I forgot who said it. Bro, your stars get you to the playoffs. Your role players win you a championship. They win you the championship. And Denver got a deep bench. I, I wish they started getting Bryant some more uh, touches, though. You remember uh, Thomas Brown, who played for the Lakers? Yeah. Marcel, pull his stats up. Did he have better stats with the Lakers or now with the Nuggets? Exactly. You don't got to look shit up. Bruh, the grass is not always greener on the other side. I'm telling you that now. You left the Lakers to go to Denver to sit there Cause that's all I see him do. He would get some buckets with the Lakers. I was like, they need to get him, get him more involved. He talking, about, yeah, he, yeah, he talking about Anthony Davis came back. They forgot about me. You, you think we supposed to? It's like I think he wanted Anthony Davis to stay hurt, and that's some hating shit. Because now you leave as soon as the man get right, talking about you ain't, oh, man. Thomas Bryant, you a great player, but you should have stayed with the Lakers. I like Jokic, too. Is it me? When I watch Jokic, I feel like I could check him, bro. I might be tripping, but it's like, how he getting y'all with that shit? He be getting the ass, too. Yo, Jokic, I don't know. They saying he should win MVP, but I don't know. Not in my book. I like Embiid. Embiid, not to compare the two, but if you see what Embiid is doing in Philly, and James Harden, it's like people counted James Harden out too, didn't he? In Brooklyn. Who Brooklyn playing? Philly. Oh, my God. James Harden, he need to go for 40 every night. Because they basically chose Kyrie over him, didn't they? Who? Oh, for shit. He had eight points? But how many assists? Seven. How many rebounds? Damn. Oh, Tyrese Maxey. He went, yeah, Tyrese Maxey went there. I was going to say, well, who the hell did some? Tyrese Maxey went off last game. 33 points. 33. Led the team. And B had like 20 rebounds. He had like 12, 12 rebounds in the first quarter. I told you. Because I damn near hit, I damn near hit my uh wager in the first quarter. I think they had him at 13 and a half. I said, oh, stay right, right there in that damn paint. I love that James Harden was missing them damn shots. That give Embiid more chances at rebounds, and that's what I needed for my shit. Hey, man, it's Nav Green from Broken Play. If you're not hip to Channel 85 app, I don't know what to tell you, but I got some good news for you. If you're not on it, right now, if you sign up and use the keyword Broken Play, I don't even know I'm able to do this. We're going to take 20% off your first year. I don't know if I'm able to do this, but if you put in Broken Play, it's going to do that. So look. Type that in, and then you won't just see Broken Play for like, you know, you're going to get early access to the show. You're going to see the full show, but you also get to see 85 South Live shows. You get to see Poor Mind Live shows. You get to see Jack Thriller show. You get to see everything that the app has to offer. <clears throat> you can download Channel 85 app on any of your streaming services. That includes Apple TV, Roku, Android TV, they on Fire TV, they on Chromecast, they on Xbox, they on anything that got streaming service availability. Check out Channel 85 app. So what you waiting for, man? Type in Broken Play, sign up, get your discount, and rock out with us. Channel 85 app. Bro, you know what? I'm not gonna call Draymond a low light. You know why I'm not? Because Draymond, he just, he play, he play tough. It, it ain't his fault the NBA getting Getting, it's a finesse style of play. But see, this is my only problem with Draymond. I want to see you check Jokic like that. Yeah. Not a little ass Sabonis. Yeah. 
when, when you see, when you see Jokic right here at the rim, meet his ass right there, Draymond. Don't do that to Sabonis. Do that to them players that they call the MVPs. Show them why, hey, we still run it. And I think it's the Warriors' fault. When they find Draymond for punching Jordan Poole and suspending him, he started, like, easing up, being more nice and respectful. No, don't find him. Because sometimes a player need that. Jordan Poole started playing way better. I think. Bro, some, that was like me growing up. If I was bad in school, my dad whooped my ass, i go back the next two days good as, good as hell. Then the next week I might fall off, but still, you need a little adjustment sometimes. And that's what they done took out of Draymond. Now Draymond can't adjust nobody on the team. That's why they down 0-2. Draymond can't adjust nobody on the team no more. So if you out there messing up, Draymond's scared to cuss at you and talk to you. No. Steve Kerr, you ain't coaching. Let Draymond cuss their ass out. Because I don't know what the heck, man, oh, my God. Yeah, the lowlights, I think the lowlights, I ain't going to say Draymond. But Draymond, if you're going to kick somebody, bro, sneak. Draymond was one of them kids, he didn't care about getting suspended. Bro, he did like one of them east side stumps. Like, you know, if you don't give a damn, we don't give a fuck. One of them stumps. I get mad when they look at the referee like, man, we saw you do it, Draymond. Come on. So I ain't going to give him a low light. I, I say that was some mid. That was some, that was some mid. <laughs> Shout out to Backwood. That was some mid. Who had some horrible numbers, you think? Jordan Poole? See? Draymond can't get on him like he used to. Bro, I'm not just talking for my health. The stats prove it. So with that being said, take uh take Jordan Poole on the under moving forward. That's a lock. That is a lock. I guarantee that. If you want to pick that, pick him to go under. Because Draymond can't cuss his ass out no more. He's scared to shoot. He's scared to mess up. Or he don't care. Giannis getting hurt. Now, now I think with Giannis, Giannis really hurt. Anytime Giannis don't come back in the game, he really hurt. He is really hurt. Only played 11 minutes. He did that in 11 minutes. So me, I'm already, I'm liking the pace of the game. When I saw him at six points at 11 minutes, I said, oh, he going to crush 32. Because he going to go through the free throw line. But, hey, at least uh, prize picks rebooted that. Because I would have been mad. Because it's like when you lose, your whole your whole mood changed. I, don't, I think we need to start letting players know how they affect our livelihoods and our family. Bro, That that sometimes when them players don't do what they're supposed to do, that mess up the whole family weekend. We're not going nowhere. No. Blame Giannis. For, I'm going to tell you this, and you could count this and put it in the bank. For Milwaukee, I don't care what they got him at. Pick Brooke Lopez for the points, rebounds, and assists. Because I don't, hey, the boy be shooting the peel off that. He be shooting the peel off of it. We trying to keep the cursing down, but he shoots the peel off that motherfucker. I like uh, Portis too. Port Drew Holiday, I don't know. Sometimes Drew Holiday want to pass more than he want to shoot. So that's the only thing. Middleton, it depends on where they got him at. If they got Middleton round 24 and a half, lock. Yes, but I'm talking about coming up now. If on the next game, if they got him at 24 and a half, Marcel, put that as locks. So I just gave y'all four locks right there. Uh, real quick, what we say? Um, Jordan Poole, under. I don't care if they got Jordan Poole at six points. Go under. Until Draymond could get him right, I don't know what he going to do. Uh, Brooke Lopez, over. Portis, over. And uh, last but not least, Go Burt.
Am I saying his name right? It don't matter. If you start playing right, we'll start addressing you right, Gobert. Come on, Gobert. We trust you. Bro, that half, that half point will kill you. You might have them at 12, 12 and a half. It's like on that 12th rebound, they just start chilling. And, and the kids don't understand. Talking about, Dad, who you going for? It don't damn matter. Sit down. I feel like kids jinx, jinx, jinx the plays anyway. When kids talk loud and be running through the house, the game just slow down. How he had 20 points in the first half, I start chilling with my kids. The, the bastard don't score another point in the whole second half. It's their mama. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Listen up, bluechew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy Get everybody in your business. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. And we got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code 85 Sports at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85 Sports to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Welcome back. Welcome back to Broken Play. Hey, since you rock with us because you're watching the show, we're going to put some money in your pocket. This is the segment Prize Pick of the Week. And with Prize Pick of the Week, you can place the entry and you can put the house on it. How about that? So, look, this is who I like. I, I, I got three options. Marcel, you could throw one in. Dom, you could throw one in. And Marco, you don't, you don't, be, on, you don't be on it at all. Do you watch sports? I don't, me personally, now y'all might disagree, I don't trust men who don't watch sports. Because that's either you, that's either you thugging. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you, well, you getting drunk. <laughs> so, you, is you thugging, Marco? Please say you thugging. <laughs> All right, phew. All right. That was going to be your last episode. <laughs> I can't trust you. But nah, all those side. I think by the end, end of the season, you gonna be like efficient and proficient, just like us. So this you gonna start this week. We gonna put you down. I'm gonna I'm gonna set you up a prize picks account. He, shit, he might have beginner's luck. Do you shoot dice? So you don't nothing at all. Uh, yeah, he he on them. You know he on them hoes. <clears throat> Moving right along. Prize picks of the week. I like Anthony Davis, Marcel, with them 24 and a half. Coming off a game like they did, and, and they play in Memphis. The only thing that kind of rubs me the wrong way with, with, with taking that is he going against Jaron Jackson. And Jaron Jackson played defense. He, he's the defensive player of the year? It came out? Damn. Who won six man of the year? So they just said who the defensive player of the year. Damn. That's why Embiid said he wished he had the Memphis Grizzlies statistician. Bro, you don't be knowing them NBA players be throwing shots at each other like it ain't nothing. I just caught that. He said that's why he won because he was like, I wish he – moving right along. Anthony Edwards. He going to have a bounce back game. I love the fact that Anthony Edwards from Atlanta. He got real people in Atlanta. They done called the boy. Man, what the hell you doing? I know you ain't going out like that. He finna drop 35. 
That's my prize pick of the week. I'm not going with Anthony Davis because he's going against a defensive player. I'm going with Anthony Edwards. Who you got, Don? Julius Randle. What? On what? Points. What his points at? Dom like Julius Randle on with points. Twenty four. Oh, hey, damn, that is a good one. Ooh, ooh, and they playing Cleveland. Oh man, and they just won that first one. Yeah, that's a good one. Who you like, Marcel? Huh? Dad, you going Austin Reeves? Yeah, Marcel. I'm gonna uh, honestly say, and I'm gonna tell them what you said. He like Garland with points. Do not take that. I don't, bro, I never, ain't no answer, a wrong answer like that, but that's a wrong ass answer. That's a wrong, because Donovan Mitchell finna go to hell off. So he ain't gonna have enough touches. Marcel, do not do that. Do not make that entry. Yeah. Dad, and you said who? Austin Reeves at 15 and a half points. That's a good. Did you see after he scored, he said, I'm him? He grew up around us. I know the boy play AAU basketball. I know how they act. You don't say I'm him when you went to preppy schools. You don't get that lingo. Because if you if you wouldn't accept it to say it, somebody would stop you. You what? Hey, hey, bro, you getting a little too carried away. Hey, you need to chill out. Let Sabonis on the court say I'm him. De'Aaron Fox going to grab my head, bro. You need to chill. To, bro, you need to chill the fuck out. You don't have too much to drink. You letting that Powerade get to your head. Marco, with all our picks, who you picking? I said Anthony Edwards from Atlanta, 23 and a half. Dom said Julius Randle. Where, he, where he from? Texas. Texas for 24 points. Marcel, Marcel just was talking. Dad said Austin Reeves. 15 and a half. Who you like, Marco? See? And that's how I know the boy ready to step to the right path. Anthony Edwards, prize pick of the week. Lock it in. Hey, if you don't have an account, make sure you sign up for prize picks right now. They got the, hey, they letting certain people get the million dollar uh, bet. Like, you, it's like you put your bet in, you place your entry. <laughs> Your sixth pick, and you got a chance to win a million dollars. Every day for the playoff. Who else doing that? And I'm not just saying that because the show sponsored by them. I'm really on here. I got it right here on my phone now. This is a bill for me. I know once I get paid, I know where my money going to. Kids get some. My baby mamas get some. And prize picks get the rest. Be like me. All right. That's it for the prize picks of the week. When we come back, man, we got a guest. I said we was going to have a guest. I was a little off topic. I was a little off subject. And that's what I'm going to do. Because you know why? Because I get to do that. But I just didn't want to bring him in while it was still hot. We were trying to let the air kick in, but it ain't going to kick in. Uh, let's pay some bills. Oh, Marco, you got to come rub Air or Jordan. You got to come rub him for good luck. You got to come up here, bro. Now, see, Errol Jordan, when you tell Errol Jordan your pick, tell him your pick. Say Anthony Edwards. <laughs> Say Anthony Edwards, 23 and a half. Anthony Edwards, 23 and a half. Say less. It's locked in. We'll be back. What's up, everybody? Broken Play is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's your boy, Nav Green. Therapy is all about deepening your self-awareness and understanding because sometimes we don't know what we want or why we react the way we do until we talk things through. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com 85 Sports today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H 
E L P dot com slash eighty five sports. Welcome back, welcome back to Broken Play, man. I'm excited. I got a I got a huge huge guest in here today, man. Josh Smith, man. Y'all clap it up for Josh Smith, man. What's up, my guy? First and foremost, man, you, you know you're a hometown hero, man. And, like, it, you know what's different? And I can honestly say this, like, you really, like, was in the community. Like, people don't know you played flag football and all. Like, you would go out there and just yeah. you really was chilling. Yep. So, like, yeah. <laughs> with that being said, are you a Hawks fan still? Absolutely, yeah, right. for sure, yeah. Right. Okay, who one of your favorite players on there? My man, uh, Clint Capella. You like Capella? Okay. Yeah, I like Capella. Um, I like Trey Young for sure. I like when, when, that, when that, you go to doing that. I'm like, yeah. Hey, how how fun it is playing it? Uh, like you think like playing in front of uh, Atlanta Atlanta fans and stuff like that. Uh, when it's the playoffs, it's it's fun. It's a different feeling. Cause we don't take it serious to the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, the fans don't for sure. But <laughs> I seen people trying to get towels and all. Like in a, in a regular game, they don't put nothing on. They don't have no red on, no yellow on. Playoff? Oh man, you see people buying jerseys and all. Absolutely. But now, uh, besides the Hawks, though, who who like some of your favorite players in the league? Uh, um, Jalen Brown in um Boston. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Edwards for sure. Yeah. In Minnesota, um, uh, Donovan Mitchell in Cleveland. Yeah, I like. Him. He's yeah, he's been having a really good year. Uh, let me see who else. Giannis for sure. Yeah, had to go with Giannis with his dominance. Hey, now tell me this, guy. Like you play at a higher level. Mm -hmm. Jokic, how you feel about Jokic? Is it like is he? If you say it, then I gotta start agreeing. Is he? Is he him? He's him. Damn. He's him. I mean, the rules have changed though since oh. I played. So like, offensively they have way more freedom. Uh huh. That's why you see a lot of anybody's getting fifty points these days. Yeah. You know, you you'll see a person get fifty that you never heard of before. Right. Uh, until that moment, and then you'll never hear about it again because they don't they don't get to fifty no more. Mm back to being a role player so uh i would i would love to see how he would have played in, in uh, the era of where you can kind of like grab and hold yeah. a little bit to see see how successful you let him go for 50 on you no 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 oh, man. No that way, way. i didn't know me i have six i got fives. a different type of pride though yeah yeah i come from the south so. yeah <laughs> i'm not i'm not letting that <laughs> Do your partners used to talk like when they when they see the game, when they talk shit to you like after the game and stuff like to keep that like you know what I'm saying, keep it real with you and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. My dad was probably my biggest critic though, so he be like, "Boy, you out there tripping?" Yeah, absolutely. So ooh, yeah, you need that. And my dad to get on my ass, so uh, he'll be texting me at halftime. It's just uh, hopefully, I, hopefully I grab the phone so I can see what he's yeah. texting. But I just done, uh, I just put it put it down and, and uh, look at all that stuff after the game. But he. He was there. I'm, I'm my biggest critic for sure, yeah. number one. But uh, my dad was 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 there and watching all the games. And really, you know, what I'm saying, give me give me his honest opinion on everything. Bro, when you came in the league, like I, during them times, it was like I remember Joe Johnson, Josh. A lot of people be forgetting about Josh Childress too. Yeah, uh, Josh Childress was on that team. Uh, who, I said Joe Johnson. Who was the other? Who? Marvin uh, Al Horford. Al Horford, yeah. Jeff T. Hey. Mike Bibby, Mike Bibby uh, bro, Jamal Crawford. I, I think, honestly, bro, and I, you probably can't speak on that because y'all old teammate. Bro, I never understood the uh, Hawks with that second pick. <laughs> with uh, which one? <laughs> with, uh, uh, Marvin. Because right then, if you get a, a point guard, that's yeah. all. Yeah. We talking different Hawks. I remember, um, I remember that moment, and I love Marvin to death, right. and uh, he's still still a good good friend of mine. But um, in that moment, what we needed was exactly what you said. So I was in those uh, workouts and watching the different point guards they brought in. They brought in Chris Paul, mm -hmm. so he like 
lit it up, lit the workout up. I'm like, man, we no getting him? Are like we picking him? You know what I mean? Even so, Darren Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was just like sold on, on Chris. CB3, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I seen Darren Williams, but uh, he, he was more like smoother and yeah. Lay back doing the workout, but his you CP, yeah, I was like, yeah, I can see, I can see the lives, I, I can, I can vision the lives and transition yeah. and, and everything. But uh, I remember uh, we had Billy not as a uh, as a GM. He was like, he's not bigger than my wife. That's what he told him. He's like, I can't, and he was small. He was like small. I'm like, that doesn't matter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can he, if he can play, he can play. But you know that's he was in the era of I mean he he changed he he transit, uh, transcended the game when he when he he was just picking everybody that was the same height six nine six eight he was picking every so he went he picked me he picked Josh me and he picked like after that he was like another guy guy named Dante Smith he was six eight in our draft yeah because even on two K when you do big lineup y'all line up stayed the same Al Horford. <laughs> Marvin Williams, Sheldon Williams. Yeah, I forgot the, the landlord. He played in Duke, right? Yeah, yep. yeah, they called him the landlord. So we had, it was, everybody was pretty much the same height and we just switched everything. Cause you know, like a lot of people were talking, they were like, man, Marvin, he didn't start at North Carolina. Yeah, but like right, he had yeah. a lot of upside. Absolutely, yeah. Man, but I it just was, know with CP3 and y'all, man, oh my God, that I would've, would've been nasty. I definitely had that vision and so, but you, but, that, but when y'all yeah. first, you went, like, I don't know. Cause, cause Marvin, we, you know what I'm saying? You get, you get a player, what, year, two years before you start, like, you know what I'm saying? I know about that third year, like, yeah, Billy done fucked up. <laughs> nah, he probably about the third game. Cause CB3 came in crazy. <laughs> by that third game, like, man. <laughs> Yo, why? Well, who, 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 wait, what Billy at now? I'm not sure. He's around. He's, he's probably around. But he ain't no GM no more. <laughs> he had the Rick. I don't think so. Man, with, uh, you was telling me earlier about the uh, CBA changing. Like, yeah. they getting money. Hey, you had got one of the, uh, not to get in your money, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you had got a bag, too, though. Yeah, you, you know, got I one of the first bags. Yeah, I had to work for it, man. It oh, was, for sure. Yeah, it was oh, definitely, yeah. definitely earned and, you know, not giving. So, uh, it, those those times of uh, stressful moments, you know, because you wanna, you can you can you, you never imagine what a, a ball could do for your life. You know what I'm saying? It can change it changed my changed my whole life and the perspective of. And you came out of high school. Yeah, I came out of high school, man. Uh, raised in poverty, um, you know, I had a mom and dad. Uh, my mom did hair. My, my dad drove trucks, but uh, man, had to. Uh, you know, I had to deal with deal with a lot. You know, growing up with my I know Pop was driving that truck like, boy, I ain't got nothing but two more years in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Respects, Respects. So I mean, yeah, man. When that when that when that moment happened, it was it was it was a surreal moment. Definitely, definitely euphoric. But uh, those are the moments that you, you know. That you understand why why you sacrifice you know your yeah, childhood so, yeah. for those moments you know what I'm saying you never you never know you want you question your parents uh, when you're young like that dedicates how they like for, put that yeah. you know telling you you know you can't do certain things that you know that you that you see your friends Man. being able to do uh, for those moments you I, I mean I appreciate them every and every day. See, it's a different day. feeling for you because you know what I'm saying what you have in son and sports and stuff like it's a different feel like. Sometimes, like, parents could be on their kids hard, but, like, you don't know. You ain't did that. Right. His son could actually look at his dad and, like, my dad know what the hell he talking about. Because I, like, just, I just remember, like, parents would be so hard on their kids, and I'm looking at the stature of the family. I'm like, it don't matter how much you bring this kid to practice. It don't matter how much you fuss at them. That kid going to be built like you. <laughs> See, even with me, if I have a son, I can't tell him, like, play hard, do your best. I know how we is genetically. <laughs> you not getting past five, seven. You might be lucky. So just, <laughs> hey, now, nah, one of my, and I always said this, when, the, when that freeze me came out, y'all remember freeze me? And Dro said, beat a nigga ass with a tall nigga. Yeah. And he showed you, I said, man, <laughs> 
Yeah, I was in the ja video. Yeah, Josh would beat the <laughs> shit out of somebody. <laughs> Six, eight. Dro, I didn't think you were talking that tall, man. I thought, he was, I thought he was talking about like a little six too. Like, boy, you damn right. You got a machine with you. But no, nah, man, like, uh, it's just it's just good to see, like, because, you know, usually, like, when, once players finish, like, playing, like, they have so much negativity to say about the game and say, like, you, you saying all the young players you like and, you know what I'm saying, you just like how the game is. So, it's, like, it's different. That's good, like. You know how people be get on there and just No, I, I definitely know, man. And it's I don't know if it was it's the old it's like older than me too. Mm -hmm. The older than me cats, they be them the ones that yeah. them the ones that really be sour about things. I don't know why they be sour cuz I'm a firm believer in in timing is everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason and cuz I don't even like watching the game with my uncle no more. Like get yeah, mad at, like, it was bro. I can't get mad at uh I can't get mad at the kids for making the money that they're making today, mm -hmm. I just was, you know, I was I was born in the '80s, so yeah. I can't get mad. Yeah. If I was born in the '90s, you know what I'm saying? I would, I, I might be a little salty, but uh, I want, I want those guys to be getting paid like, yeah. like, like they deserve. So, like, it, it's is it evolving like you don't absolutely. want to just shut yeah, down yeah. And like, absolutely even so like, like with anything with i don't know sport. they come from and, it, and it's, these are these are some most some of these cats are hall of fame cats too like y'all 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 reached the highest level yeah. and y'all made it to the hall of fame what, why are you criticizing this man's game like this when you know if, if i could just knock the dust off of a little cassette tape and put it in the vcr and and watch some of your games and watch how bad you was yeah, performing. Like, man, then what? I can I can critique yeah, it too, but you know those, people don't watch those. They they don't they don't they don't pull them film those film up because they can barely see the player because of the quality <laughs> of the of the camera. You know what I mean? Hey, and Josh, I be going back seeing like some of the old like you know like old scores to the games and stuff like that. Like it was low scoring games. Absolutely. So it's like it was different. Like the pacing was slow. They really used the 24 second shot clock then. You know what I'm saying? So that was different then too. But now, nah, like you saying that, that that's real though. That's crazy. Who was some like players you grew up watching that you like that you kind of like? Cause you had like you had, you got like a you know you could play a lot of positions. Like you could play the four, the three, the five. So it's like who you grew up watching and out of not saying idolizing, but like you know looking up to like. I like his game. No, I ain't, you know, really didn't have cable growing up, so mm -hmm. I had to watch, it was the Bulls. So uh, anything, what, Michael Jordan, um, Tony Kukoc. A lot of people slept on Kukoc. Yeah, absolutely. So that, I was, I'm left-handed like him, so I used to watch his game and how versatile he was at the fourth position. Man, cool. And uh, Scottie Pippen with his defense, yeah. uh, uh, Dennis Rodman with his rebounding. Uh, you know, I, I appreciated each each uh, strength in those in those players' games, and I, you know, I'll try to try to take bits and pieces off of off of each player and try to apply it to my game. Facts, facts. When you when you first got that check, and then so look, how you, you was able to spend your money better in Atlanta than in Detroit, huh? I know you had got you a pair of buffs and stuff. They on the bus every day. How many pair of buffs you had? <laughs> man, I, oh, yeah. man, I had a couple of Timberlands, that's about it. I mean, but coming from Atlanta going to Cold Ad Detroit. It was a it was a culture shock for me for sure. Um, coming from Atlanta to the snow, it was like one of the worst winters in Detroit. And it was like it, it used to be it used to be blizzards and, and we still had practice. And I'd be called at the car I'd be like <laughs> Hey man, we still do, I, got do I gotta come in? They be like, hell yeah, you can bring your ass in. I'm like, well shit, I'm gonna I'm be driving 20 miles per hour on this highway. Hey, so I'll catch Cause in that letter, bro, any flurries hit the ground, yeah, it's, like, a, it's like, over with, it's canceled. Yeah, anything, we we a wrap. But no, that's, that's, that's a good thing. Like people don't be, be realizing like people come from these like cities and going to other cities. Like it's a whole different, cause you came from, you stayed where you grew up. And was playing. Uh, didn't didn't see the sun for a long time out there. It was like three, four months with the sun it didn't oh, come up. Man, I know that it was, was just work. snowing and man, I was like, I was like, golly, this, it was a different experience. Man, you was on the team when uh, Brandon Knight got done on. No, nah, I wasn't. You went on, on that. No, no, no. Was he was, still there when you got there? No, nah, no, nah, he was gone. Man, do you know he made an Instagram after he got done on though? 
Yeah, see. I said, dang. That's, that's like I said, timing. His timing wasn't right. I liked your boy Monroe. Did Monroe was cool? Yeah, Greg was, he was all right. I, Drummond was more I, my guy. Oh, okay. Drummond and Brandon Jennings. Okay. Oh, yeah. Br Brandon Jennings was gas, too. He played with the Bucks, um, and then he went to Detroit, didn't he? Yep, oh, yeah, absolutely. Y'all, you were straight in Detroit. Y'all had a straight squad in Detroit. It was cool. They just. It be always like with just like a one play away type of thing. Yeah, and then just positioning. You know, they had me at the three. So I was playing the three. Monroe was at the four. Drummer was at the five. Stayed in a big lineup. They should have just probably tweaked that lineup a little bit. Mm -hmm. Probably started some started somebody at the four and then brought somebody off the, off the bench. Yeah. That would have been better. Yeah. With that scenario. Greg Monroe, Greg Monroe, uh, where he came from? Georgetown. Georgetown, yeah, okay, Georgetown, yeah, yeah. Right, right. But yeah, so it's certain stuff like that, like with the league, I guess, uh, that be different that we don't be knowing about seeing that type of, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause I know sometimes like, that's just like in life period, when you around certain people like, bro, I would not hang around you if we didn't work together. Yeah. Like it'll make you cut somebody out. Like, bro, what the what the hell are you doing? Yeah, no, I mean that's why I when I I'm I'm a coach. I coach my, my kids right. in the eighth grade and um my 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 daughter uh and has a coach and it's like with, with me I coach mm -hmm. and after I coach I just, you know, I go home, I let it go. We might have a conversation, we might watch film. Yeah. But I'm not like, hey man, why you ain't friends with this with this guy? Yeah. Like y'all need to be friends. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that and some 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 coaches do that and it's, it's that's weird to me because even at the highest level they're going to pick who their friends are, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like it's guys, some people guys you guys relate, relate to better. Yeah. It, absolutely. So it's like yeah, some of that stuff can it can't be forced, especially who you hang out with after after you, you know, you you, you go to work with them. You ain't never play football? My dad wouldn't let me. He made dad, a good ass choice. My dad wouldn't let me. I said, as soon as I started wanting to play football, I was I was already good in basketball, so. Oh yeah, it's too late then. You would've like had to start school. that, yeah. It was like middle school. I was trying to play for the middle school. Middle school, school what, you were like six? Six feet already? Yeah, I was like, what, six? Yeah, six feet. Dang! Six feet. I just knew, me, me growing up, I just knew in high school, I mean, knew once I got to ninth grade, I thought everybody get tall. <laughs> Bro, I just knew, I just thought they caught their growth spurt before me. You know, help will tell you, like everybody go through their different stages. Bro, I got the ninth grade, I still, like the women were getting taller, like it just me still, like I'm like, bro. But no, I feel what you're saying though. But football, I could just see like, you probably go hell in wide receiver. That's what they was. They was trying. That's why to, you like flag football so much. Absolutely, yeah. So when I was, my buddy said you be going played, crazy. Out there. I used to go to Gresham. Yeah, I know. That's what they say. So, yeah. So when I played with, you the taking Hawks, it? Ain't got him. Yeah, man. I, so, when I played uh, with the Hawks, I used to on Sundays, like um, after the season during the summer, uh, they used to have uh, flag football on Sundays. Uh, so I used to go out there. It was a uh, this was before they had the um this was before they put the uh the turf down there. So it was right. like rocks and all that stuff. And Bro, I used to go out there with, with the with the guys that would play that Cedar Grove yeah, and all those East and they used to schools. say like you would go crazy. But yeah. that's another thing, like it's kinda of good you came up in the era you did. Cause if cameras would have been out there and stuff right. like that, yeah. it would have been yeah, Man, what the hell? Right. We just gave you all this money? Right. You, they say you diving for the ball. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I was, doing, I was doing real football stuff. So. Yeah, so that probably yeah. good too. Who you like uh, the fight this week? Who you like? Oh, um, man. Uh, Javante. Easily, sure. bro. They, sure. they trying to make it closer. Yeah, I don't know I what they, they just, trying to do. They just trying to sell tickets. That's it. Yeah, they just trying to sell tickets. I saw Tank. He might get touched up a little bit, but once he once he get that right he and left figure off, him out he gonna, quick. Yeah, he, he gonna, left. He left. He gonna put him to sleep. Yeah. He gonna put that. He oh, gonna put man, him to sleep. It ain't even close. Garcia gonna come with the jabs and it's and he get confident. He gonna he gonna come in and it's gonna be lights out probably. I know I said last question, thirty questions ago, but I gotta ask this. So look, you know how the, with the owners now, how the rappers are coming, in, you know, involved with the, mm -hmm. the Hawks and stuff like that. You in see them side. Bro, they was supposed to have that like that when y'all was playing. Yeah, they was. Imagine yeah. you seeing Jeezy down there, Tip yeah. down there, like, mm -hmm. drove Gucci, yeah. like, 
Mm-hmm. Cause they got the Gucci down there now, but we need it. Gucci right, back we in oh, eight, yeah, oh we nine. Need lean Gucci. Oh man. We need that lean, that oh Gucci. man. Yeah. Gucci would have been down there. <laughs> he would have been there. You gotta up. win. He would have been in there cutting up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that would have been lit though. But now nah, it's just the show, like you know, what I'm saying it evolved and it's still coming together. But I feel like y'all started that culture change where y'all was like, you know. Even Joe Johnson, Joe Johnson were hanging out and having fun too. So it was like, it ain't just like, it was like that whole team, y'all changed the culture of Atlanta for, I think, them to start like realizing yeah, stuff. Like, yeah, I think like, I think it's good. Uh, and Michael Vick was playing during them times. Come on, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. come on, man. Oh, you good. had that air out. Oh, well, I know good, you got man. a million stories at me. No, I know come y'all on, used to have wars in Magic do. City. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a time. I enjoyed, I enjoyed, those twelve years of my of my of my life. That sure. was that was that was really Man, we appreciate you having you, Josh Smith. Make sure y'all follow No IG Smooth, man. Yes, One sir. of the coldest coldest individuals, period, man. So yes, clap sir. it up with Josh Smith, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank Coming you. through. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Shit, that's the this is dope. This that's is the dope. Yeah, this man. Lowe's didn't give me a big enough budget, but the budget, it's all good, yeah, man. yeah. But the budget budget. Hey, watch the you season. You watch season two. Watch and you gonna come back season two too. <laughs> We yeah, gonna have you so, season two. Yeah, I need to be the first one on season two. Hey, I'm looking. You might come back season two, season three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.